to get a view as well. We did a bit of a clean up um, recently in our spare parts box. We found some blown bulbs. Got a good um, tongues ram on there. Hungry. One of the filaments is blown in it. This company used to make uh, radio valves back in the day. I think they were German original, uh, German that company. Quite a good quality bulb there. Here's some of the cheaper ones, which we uh, I think this might be an Arva, I think. An older model, an older one. I think this one's a more modern one, I think. Yeah, the quality isn't as good. Here's a modern Arva bulb. John, no, 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 it's not. It's a John brand made in Germany. The filament is still intact, but it's been over vaulted. It's black in the glass, but the filament is still okay. It's German quality. And then there's a lot of these uh, Chinese made Nava bulbs. They're just crap. They just don't last. And the bayonet molding just snaps off like it's made of paper. And the bulbs fall out. And the side rings are very good. See, this tongue's rare one's quite a very good, good quality one. But these other ones which are blown, the filament's fallen off the top there. These are stop and go lamps, uh, stop and um, light. So one's, one filament's for light, tail light, and one's for the stop. So, yeah, they're not, uh, not useful anymore when one filament's blown. What model is this one? This is an Oster. Oster brand. Which are made in China. So yeah. Anyway, I'm probably getting the microwave when I get, when I get a chance. Hmm, interesting. Double four, double five. More repeating numbers. 33.33 kilowatt hours so far on the uh, Sangamo Schlumberger. Oh, cute. Hello, Charlotte. Gotta love cats. Okay, so turn into that speaker, I tried to pop it a capacitor back. As you can see, the voice call is perfectly intact. It was the, uh, connections that go to it that vaporize like a fuse. Yeah, I'll try and dig those out and finish this thing off. Yeah. Okay, viewers all, instead of using these piles of junk for TV reception, these don't really do anything anyway. They do, for, they do a little bit for radio, but um, 99.9% of the time, they barely make a difference. You got your uh, gain control there. Turn the booster on. Just amplifies a signal that's incoming. So it boosts a weak signal. I want to see if this works on my TV transmitter. See if how much um, extra uh, extra range I get out of it. I've taken the antennas off this one because I will use to repair another set of remedies. So I do some experiments and see if um, I've already used. Uh, a one similar to this, but it doesn't have an um, inbuilt amplifier. All that's inside here is a 9 volt transformer, a little circuit board, and um, that just boosts the uh, incoming signal. This can also be that off, uh, that off 12 volts as well. Switch it to the internal one or external antenna. So instead of using these, you use one that plugs into here. So I can plug the other set of liberties into here and use this to adjust it and boost it again. So Instead of using the um, liberties that go on here. So, hopefully, this should work. Um, this particular uh, booster should work to um, amplify uh, a transmission even more. I haven't tried it with the uh, transmitter yet, but my um, uh, booster. So, another experiment, another experiment I get to try. See if I can get some. Um, even up this far, I can get one of these TVs to pick up my uh, um, transmitter from, where, uh, from in the house, which is about 30 metres away. Anyway, 
going to be nice for now. Thanks for watching.